Hello everyone, Sigs here, and welcome back to Raft. Um, we're picking up from where we left off last time, however, I'm doing the intro from the loading screen for a particular reason. So, last time we got to the Caravan Island, the Story Island, and where we parked the raft, we just so happened to have a Screecher, uh, one of those flying birds that dive bombs and drops rocks on you, uh, right next to where we are. So he was attacking us even while we were on the raft. Um, and I believe that he can drop rocks onto and destroy the animals that I've tamed, potentially. So I didn't want to do this intro, like, running around and trying to dodge and potentially lose an animal. So I just wanted to go over a couple things before we started here, um, and then I'll load in and immediately go take out that bird so that it's safe to do the rest of the stuff uh, to prepare to go see Caravan Island. Um, but I did want to mention something about the previous recording. So after I had finished the recording and went back to check it, uh, it seems like there was some type of encoding overload or something where the footage was freezing for extended periods of time. Um, and I realized that that makes the footage basically unwatchable. Um, you know, Raft doesn't have save states, like save files that I can load back up and go between to re-record the footage. So basically, once I'm done with that section, I stop recording, um, I exit the game, and I let the recording software finish the encoding and, and the compression and all that kind of stuff. Um, and only then do I go back and check the footage, at which point, if it, the footage is bad, I don't have any option to reload and replay that section of the game. Um, I could leave the game running and just kind of like stand there and wait for all that to finish and then check before I save. Um, but you know, the whole time I'm doing that, I'd be losing thirst and hunger and have to burn through my, my food reserves and stuff would be happening around the raft. Um, you know, the, the animals would be eating grass and growing and the crops would be doing things and the footage just wouldn't quite line up between the sections. So I didn't want to do that. Um, it may be worth doing that uh, for the sake of getting all usable footage, but um, honestly, my, my computer's specs are more than adequate to, you know, play and record at these settings, so I'm not sure why it happened, and I'm just hoping it doesn't happen again. Um, I did have a bit of an issue on the Balboa Island section as well, where the, the frame rate was just low, and I'm not sure, again, why. Um, I don't know if it's just using the computer for too long and getting some thermal throttling or, or something like that. Um, but anyway, this has been a very long and probably unnecessary three-minute explanation onto what's been going on. Um, but I just wanted to apologize for having basically unwatchable footage, but I wanted to include it, you know, upload that section as well as part of the playthrough for continuity's sake. Otherwise, it would make no sense why there was like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half of, of footage just randomly missing. Um, and, you know, how did I get from here to here? And how did I get all this stuff in between and all that? So um, hoping it doesn't happen again. In the last section, it was recording fine, you know, smooth as butter uh, up until I think around the 45 minute mark is where it started to just overload. And I got the the stuttering and the frame skipping and, and the recording freezing and all that. So we cleaned out our PC case, um, got all the dust out. I, I tweaked some settings. Um, I ran some, some PC health check tests and I mean, everything seems fine. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again going forward and that the rest of these um, recordings are just going to be like the first however many where, you know, the footage, the footage is smooth and the gameplay is there and, and all that. But anyway, very long winded uh, explanation aside. Uh, let's hop into it here, and again, the first thing we're going to have to do is deal with this bird right away, so let's load into our world right here. And let's get ready to go. Alright, so here we go. Um... Right off the bat, yeah, you hear the Screecher attacking. Now, I think if he drops a rock on those animals up there, he can potentially kill them. So, I don't want that to happen. I think the rest of the raft, I think the structures are safe. I think it's just the animals that are a liability. 
So I don't know where he went, but I'm going to try to dodge him and then shoot him. Here he comes. Shoot him with the bow and arrow. Look out. Where is he? Okay, so I got hit. He's going to run away. Uh, a good time to hit him is when he swoops down right there to grab the rock. That's really where I want to hit him. Uh, this bow does not have a lot of durability left. I actually don't know if it has enough durability to kill him with the metal arrows that I have. I might need more durability. I'm not sure how many arrows it takes. I think it's about 10. So I'm going to quickly run over here and see if I can make a bow before he comes back and attacks. Uh, so let me see what I need for a bow. Plank rope, vine goo, bolt. So plank, rope, vine goo, bolt, new bow. There we go. Get out before he drops another rock. Um, put all that stuff back later. Come over here. Okay, he hit me again. Thankfully, it doesn't do much damage. Um, this is actually, I think it's called a white screecher. So it's a little bit weaker than the normal screechers that you encounter. And I believe that there's only one of them on this whole island. So a little unfortunate that he's attacking us right here. But um, at least we can deal with him and be done with it. So I don't know where he went. Nope, that's where he went. Where the hell is he? So, there he goes. What I want to do is get my shot off when he goes to land like that is the easiest time. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait for him to fly in and try to get him here. I just I don't want to miss too many shots. Because I won't be able to get the arrows back. Uh, I was thinking here would be a good spot, but honestly, I think I'm better off on the raft at that point. So, if I have to lose the arrows, I'll lose the arrows. Hopefully, I can just hit my shots. And then I can pick the arrows back up from his corpse. So I'm going to wait for him to fly in. Seems like when I was there, he was coming in from too high because he was up on the, the ledges or whatever. Um, if I'm here on the raft, hopefully he comes down at a lower angle. Whoa, whoa. I don't even know where he came from there. There he goes. All right, so I'm going to keep my eye on him. I could make a shot like this. I just have to get the arc right on the arrow. Which I'm not sure how much arrow drop I'm going to encounter, but as he flies in like this... Nope, that was a bad shot. Let's see about when he flies away. Uh, I don't want to just take pot shots at him and keep missing. Ah, that one was close, but not quite. I'm probably going to burn through all my arrows and all my durability trying to do this, but... I just got to get the angle just right. Ah, too far. Okay. Once again, I was aimed too far in front of him, so when he gets almost directly overhead of me, I can probably just shoot, like, almost directly into him. And it looks like that would hit, so right about there. There we go. And we're just going to have to do that a few more times. We do have a good stockpile of arrows, so even if I miss some shots, I should still have enough to keep me going for a while. Here we go again. Here he comes. Once he's kind of right above me, we go boom. And then we dodge the rock. Nice. I'm um, just going to empty these out while I wait. Since I'm going to have to go stash all that extra stuff that I picked up to make the bow anyway. Might as well just get that in storage. Uh, here he comes again. So we're going to line up our shot there. Nice. Dodge the rock. And get ready to do that again. Let's drink some water while we wait. We're going to need to fill up our food as well before we go here. And I do need quite a bit. Uh, here he comes. Boom. Is that it? Oh, that was it. That was easy. So that wasn't too many shots. And now we don't have to worry about this guy dive bombing us. I don't think he respawns. So uh, still have a good amount of arrows. We did get some drumsticks from him, which is good, considering that we want to stock up our food here. And now let's get prepared to go expo explore Caravan Island, um, right as the sun comes up here, which is really convenient. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick harvesting loop of everything, so that while I'm out exploring the island, I have stuff happening on the raft that otherwise I would just have to sit here waiting to happen. Uh, the uh, I might need to make another set of shears. I'm not sure if that's enough durability for all five. 
Looks like it's just enough. Wonderful. Um, and it looks like we do have all of our llamas, too. We had five llamas, so the rocks did not... Did not destroy any of our llamas, so that is wonderful. Um, everything's watered up there. We'll get our thirst topped up. Make sure we get everything all filled up here. Uh, just gonna need to eat these. And then let me see over here. Looks like our crops are done as well, so i gonna harvest all of these. We hope we get a lot of seeds. It seems like you do not always get a seed. Um, so eventually, if these were all full of watermelons slowly, I will be able to plant less and less as time goes on, but um, we're able to fill at least two of them. And hopefully we can get more watermelon seeds from other islands as we go, uh, because we need those to load up our biofuel processors. Um, and then we're going to need some honey as well, which I have, I believe that ended up in this chest, right? Yeah. So, we have extra honey. Load this up. Uh, that'll now make two biofuel per refiner. Every three and a half minutes it makes one. And then I will have to empty it out, or pick up, I should say, the, the biofuel that's on the ground before it makes the second one, but it is full enough to make multiple. Um, get rid of our extra crops here. I have this screecher head, which I could, could use to make biofuel. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of a cosmetic item. I can put it on a wall as like a trophy, which is probably what I'll end up doing with it. Alrighty. Um, palm leaves, so many of. Uh, I'll bring this bow with me that has really low durability. It's about to break. Um, and I'll just break it, and then I have the, the fresh one on me, which is good. Uh, I have an extra hook, which is good. I think that axe should last. And then I do believe there might be some other stuff that I have to fight, so we're going to want to make a spear. Um, I need a ton of metal to finish armoring the raft, but I'm going to need to use some of it here to make this spear, so let's do that. Do I have any metal ore? I do. So I might as well let this cook while I am away. Alright, so we're good on spears, we're good on bows, we're good on hooks. We have an axe, which is good. Um, I do believe there are also bees on this island, which I can catch, so I'll bring the sweep net with me. Um, there are also animals that I can catch, so I don't want to fill up my inventory too much because I want to be able to carry, carry stuff back with me. I want to bring everything that I need, so I have enough wool to get eight more trash cubes, so we'll let the recyclers go while we are away. Uh, wouldn't mind bringing some food with me as well, so let's see about cooking that. Maybe I'll take the four steaks with me, that, and make sure I'm uh, full on water that I bring with me as well, so I don't accidentally starve while I'm out there. Um, and then, lastly, wow, I don't really have a lot of explosive powder. I wanted to just make a couple more canisters. You know, I can only carry back one animal with me at a time anyway, but in case I miss the shot, which I really hope that I don't, because I don't have a ton of explosive powder, um, I want to bring an extra canister with me just in case, so I need mean, stone and rope. Let's see... We'll do that, and then four stone, plus the explosive powder in here. We'll make one more canister, we'll bring two, and we'll just pray that we don't miss a shot. Um, or miss two shots, I guess. And that should be enough to bring back one animal, and then if we want to go get other animals, we can make more canisters when we get back, because we now have the explosive goo cooking. And I believe that's everything that I'm going to need, so... I have tools, I have food and water, um, I have a good amount of inventory space. Ah, actually, I do need a couple other things. So, I need, uh, flippers and an oxygen bottle, which it actually appears I haven't learned how to make yet. Oh, I need to research an empty bottle. So do I have enough? Okay, I do have enough plastic to make... Wow, I need a lot of vine goo. 
I'm gonna need to cook some more of that, but hopefully that's enough. So if I research this empty bottle, um, I can learn how to make the binoculars, which I don't really need right now, uh, and the oxygen bottle. And then, let's see, where are we? Are we here? Yeah. Binoculars would be cool to have. They don't really do anything. I could just kind of see into the horizon to see if it's, like, worth stopping off at a particular island. I'm not going to make them now, but if I remember later, maybe I'll make them just to have, um, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to forget that they even exist if I don't make them now. So I'm just going to make them real quick. Uh, and I'm going to cook some more, uh, vine goo here. Because I need, uh, I need two bottles, so where are we at with that here? One, two, and then I'm gonna make some binoculars uh, because when we're done here, we're gonna get these engine controls, which um, you can you can turn the engines on and off and drop the anchor just from one switch. And I'm gonna put it up here by the steering wheel. So what I want is a little chest here. So this will be like my little captain's chair, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'll have the binoculars here. I'll show you how they work. Uh, okay, so I can zoom in with the mouse wheel. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So I can zoom in pretty far with them. Just so that'll it'll help me navigate, potentially, if I'm, like, looking around, looking for islands. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if that island over there is worth going to. Then I can look at it like that. So those will be in there. Just a, you know, nifty little thing to have, I suppose. And then, to get what we actually needed... I'm probably going to need to cook more vine goo. Uh, one other thing, too, just since we are thinking about it now, um, I'm going to take one of these eggs. I'm going to research that because I have not researched an egg yet. And that will teach me all of these salves so that just directly restores your health as opposed to, like, restoring your hunger or thirst like normal food and then waiting for your health to come up. This will just restore your health directly. Um, so that's going to be useful later for fighting some more difficult enemies. Um, and that looks like we learned everything now. So uh, there's going to be potentially some more uh, blueprints that I will find. And then I'll be able to research new stuff. But until then, that's, that's everything that I can research with the base items. So that's pretty cool. Um, going to need to make the flippers and the oxygen bottle, however. So I will need one new bottle here. Uh, so I need vine goo. Lots and lots of it to make all this stuff. So I just gotta let this cook real quick. So give me a minute here. Uh, let's see. At this point, we probably want to do another loop of all of our harvesting and such while that all cooks. Yep, so honey's done. I know I just picked up a biofuel, so I might as well refill those so that they're good to go for later. And water our crops. Our llamas ate the grass, which means their wool is in the growing stage. And then once the grass finishes growing again, after I shear them, it'll grow back. Uh, water this. We assume the chickens are the ones eating the grass and not that goat because I'm not milking the goat. I don't think he actually eats it unless he needs to. I could be wrong considering I'm not always getting two eggs here, but um, we want the eggs for biofuel. So we do want to make sure that we're harvesting a lot of eggs. Um, there's no planks in there, so I'm sitting here waiting for that to cook and it's not even cooking. Oops, I should have grabbed a bigger stack. I thought that said 19, not 9. Alright, there we go. So load this up. Looks like our steaks are done. We're gonna need to eat these. We're just burning through hunger and thirst by sitting here doing this stuff and not going to the island, but I'm gonna need my flippers and oxygen bottle. So let's grab all that. Get some more cooking. Uh, I'm gonna make some more uh, honey. Actually, I guess I have it already. I don't need to make more just yet. So I'm going to grab the honey. I'm going to load the honey in down here if I don't get stuck on everything. All this is going to get moved eventually to a much more efficient layout. 
once I expand the raft. Um, speaking of which, the shark has been attacking this whole time, and I haven't noticed, I haven't heard it at all, so... Yeah, he's definitely been destroying stuff back here. I just need to be aware that he doesn't eat his way in to any of these tiles that actually have items on them. Uh, kind of a waste. I need a lot of plastic and planks to finish building out the raft. So, having to constantly just replace tiles that I've already made because the shark is destroying them because I don't have armor on the outside of my raft is a little annoying, but I'm just going to fill in these gaps here so I don't have to worry about it too much. Jeez, yeah, he's been just chomping away at these outside tiles. Oh boy. Well, it is what it is. See, I have to fill in all these, like, middle areas. Looks like we're above a reef, too. Maybe that'll be worth exploring later. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fill in all these middle tiles. Otherwise, even if I armored the outside edge, he would just still eat, you know, these tiles that he can access. So it's gonna be a while until I can actually make the raft totally safe from shark attacks, but, um, working, working towards it. Looks like the crops are done again, and yeah, you see, every time I do this, I lose seeds or whatever. Like, I get less seeds than what I originally planted, so I will need to restock with seeds from islands that I get from actually harvesting raw materials. But, um, can load these up here. Oof, that might not even be enough. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little more. So, the main thing that we're working on right now is this biofuel setup. I want to get to the point where I can generate as much or more biofuel than I'm consuming by leaving the engines on, um, at which point we can just basically leave the engines on at all times, which will really speed up our navigation around the map. Um, but I think that's enough vine goo to make everything that we need. So we'll need a new bottle. We'll need... Flippers, takes raw seaweed and rope. Raw seaweed, rope is in there. Uh, and then plastic. Oof, good thing I didn't use all the plastic repairing the raft because I'm going to need quite a bit of it. Uh, and the oxygen bottle. There we go. And, alright, we should be good then. So, um, the oxygen bottle and the flipper do take the spots of the armor um, when I equip them. So, I'm going to leave the armor on for now. And then when I do go swimming and I do need them... Then I will switch to the oxygen bottle and the flippers. Otherwise, I don't want to have them equipped and, like, burn durability on them while I'm just swimming around. I think last thing I want to do is just harvest my llamas real quick before we go. So we're going to need some new shears. Shears. need scrap, which I have a decent amount of. I'm going to need more of as we go. I'm just going to make three because I have a little bit of extra metal at the moment. Um, and then, yeah, we went through a whole day cycle just doing all this. So I'm going to sleep before we go, um, which isn't the worst thing in the world because now I'll start with like a full day cycle for this next exploration so that I have as much daylight as possible. Is that five? I wasn't counting. Uh, they eat the grass immediately, so let me water this. Two, three, four, and five... Alrighty, refill this, refill that, and let me just empty out the inventory of the stuff that we don't need. I need new batteries for that. Um, one thing I'm going to get here, though, is the blueprint for um, the battery recharger, so I can actually recharge all the dead batteries that I already have, which is awesome, so... Don't want to waste the resources on new batteries because once I have that, I basically have infinite batteries as long as I have, I think it's biofuel, uh, to recharge them. So, not going to get those recyclers running just yet. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm getting rid of the vine goo, which technically goes in this one. Um, metal goes back in there. That's all we need. I'm going to get rid of the honey and the drumsticks. Is there anything else that makes sense to cook? Not really. I'll just save the raw ones and I'll eat the cooked ones. Let me put the honey away uh, and then I'll sleep. Oops. I'll get distracted by the eggs. <laughs> there we go. And then I will sleep. 
and then we'll go explore the island. So oh, I forgot to put the honey away. Oh, I hear the shark attack too. It's pretty rare that I actually hear it at this point with how big the raft is, but yeah, you know what? He's just going to have that tile. I'm not going to get there in time. All right, so let's sleep. ready to go here so gonna have basically a full day of sunlight let's get our hunger it's not topped up all the way but it's good enough considering i'm taking the steaks with me let's get our thirst topped up and let's refill that and then let's go so big island here a lot to do a lot to explore i think we have everything we need I hope i'm not forgetting anything but let's just get to it so Starting off, we have just like these little, whatever you call them, little caravans, I suppose, is why this is called Caravan Town or Caravan Island. And there could just be resources in them that I can just pick up. So I should be able to get a good amount of extra plastic and scrap and maybe even metal and that kind of stuff just by checking out all of these buildings, so that's what I'm going to do as we go through here. Um, Alright, and then eventually we're going to make our way up to these other areas. A little tricky to navigate, kind of confusing with the layout, but Looks like that's it for here. I think I actually want to go up that other ladder. I don't think I can jump up here at all. Doesn't really look like it, so let's go around over to here. Climb up this way. Alright, what do we got in here? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Yep, absolutely nothing. And then, I guess from here, I'll hop over to this one. Check out Carl's Carpentry, which I hope has a bunch of wood in it, I would think. Planks. This is a carpentry shack. No, but he has a cooked potato, I guess. Might as well just eat that real quick to save the inventory space and also to stay on top of my hunger. And then we're going to head up here. Looks like I can go around that way. Let me check out this first. I'm not going to want to go that way, so yeah, I'll have to go around here. Is there anything in this one? Is this the one that I just checked out? Okay. That's a different one. He's got a ladder here, a little secret ladder. See if we can hop in here. What do we got? A lot of good stuff, you know, glass, like already cooked materials, which are very efficient because then I don't have to, you know, cook my own, which takes additional planks. Good amount of planks, which we always need, scrope, uh, scrap rope, all that kind of stuff. All good. It's going to fill up my inventory pretty quickly, though, but it's all good resources that we need a lot of, so it's worth grabbing all this. Uh, let's head up again, another level. Okay, here we have some options. So it looks like there's some stuff over here. Ooh, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, actually, it wasn't that tricky. Uh, check out everything in here. Don't want to go down there yet. So there's like a whole other tower and part over there that I could go to, but. I think first I actually want to go up a little more. Here's our first note, so we can let that roll and hear what, um, what kind of story is going on here. But at night I got Sanjay to help me sneak onto the stranger's ship. I thought maybe he had some medicine for Ma, but Olaf's boat was just filled with cages. In the cages were big rats. A very large hyena. They were so angry. Sanjay found notes talking about feeding and training them into his personal army. Sanjay thinks Olaf might be a bad guy. Found some bees here, so we'll grab them. 
grab the honeycomb as well. We're pretty good on honeycomb, but we need a ton of it to keep making biofuel. So that's basically like long term what we need the most of just to have like an infinite supply of biofuel. So we're always happy to grab honeycomb. Keep grabbing items and checking for anything else in these. There's a goat. Um, so eventually I do want more goats uh, to get the milk to make some food items with the milk. Oh, I didn't bring my shovel. Darn. What are the chances I could craft one right here? I would need to find a metal ingot or a bolt. If I could find them while I'm exploring, I'll come back. Otherwise, I'll need to come back with my, um, with my shovel. I have to come back here anyway to do this with the explosive powder, so... Let's read this other note. I'm talking about some experiments. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Sanjay borrowed some fireworks to get it started. Pa had to apologize to everyone for the explosion. I don't get it. It was just a test. What an overreaction. They would have taken my tools if Sanjay hadn't helped me put out the fire. Ah, good helper, Sanjay. Alrighty. Now, let's check around this way. Looks like I'm not going to be able to get over there, so there's all these zip lines, and I can use the zip line tool to get around, uh, but I don't have that yet, so I'm going to need to find that here as we go across this creaky bridge. That's pretty scary. Mm, let's check the outside. I would have put a chest here if I was a game developer, but they did not. It's still worth checking. Now... Let's head up here. See what we got. Hmm. Okay. Whatever all these people are, these like tributes, like a grave, mass grave, basically, or whatever, tributes to all the people they've lost in their hooks. That's kind of sad. Um, okay, so I need to find the zipline part so that I can make the zipline tool here to get around. Uh, we got a note. So let's listen to that. And figure out where we're supposed to go to get these zipline parts. Ah, okay. Because they refused to let regular working class folk on board. I was appalled. Why should the elite get to escape the apocalypse? They should be forced to share their luxury. Who should force them? That's right! The greatest rafters in this new southern sea! You! Take Tongaroa! Take back your future! Alright. Some more lore. About all these people heading to this Tangaroa place, apparently. Um, and there was another note in here that we'll let Sailing roll. as one, the raft towns of Indonesia. The flooding of Jakarta has led to escaping locals creating interconnected rafts as they make their way to land. We just make do, said Puchi Reyes, one of the earlier adopters of these raft towns, when inquired by one of our reporters about their living conditions. Drifting largely on sea currents, they appear to be growing at a steady rate, raising considerable concerns with coastal authorities. A maritime hazard in the making, the foreign minister stated this morning in a public address. Despite these concerns, many believe raft towns could very well be a viable alternative. Recent rumors surrounding the construction of sanctuary towers in the southern hemisphere has only increased tensions. We sought a comment from the local government. Alrighty. Um, okay, now our inventory is full. So, I'm gonna find what we need to find. Get back to the raft to empty it out. Um, I did pick up a bolt along the way, so if I could somehow find a metal ingot, I could make that shovel. That would clear up a couple inventory spaces and allow me to go get that dirt. Otherwise, we're just checking out all of these different caravans, hopefully without falling. Uh, there's the docks down there. I think that's where we were supposed to land, actually. And instead, we landed somewhere else where a screecher was attacking us, so... Um, and I did see a chicken over here as well, which I definitely want. I want more eggs for biofuel, so... Oh, I found a sweep net. 
that's cool. It saves me a lot of resources from having to make one, but also I don't really have the inventory space for it right now. Um, but we'll see if we can somehow manage to hold on to everything and not leave anything behind. So we'll eat those beets to clear up a spot. I think I already checked this one, right? Yeah. Um, and we'll want this chicken, so when I head back to the raft, I'll, I'll capture him and bring him with me. So let's check out everything over here. First. Whoops, what is that? Leftovers. So that is just a food item. You know what I can do? I can eat this broth. Oh wow, look at how much that increases my hunger bar beyond the maximum. So that's a very good food item. Oh my gosh, there's so much more stuff over here. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do is just grab this chicken and bring him back to the raft and then drop off all the items in my inventory and then come back because I don't want to keep looting and have to leave things behind. So I definitely don't want to miss this shot. <laughs> nice, he's coming right at us. So we'll grab him. Um, Clucks, I guess? I don't even remember what I named the other ones. I think it was going to be like Cluck and Clucks and Clucker and Peck and Pecks and Pecker or something like that. But anyway, we'll just give him a name. And hopefully not fall to our death right here. And head back to the raft and just quickly drop all this stuff off. And then, ooh, and then head back out. So it may be worth doing a quick item loop while we're here too. Just like doing all of our harvesting and restocking everything. Since we're here. Um, looks like the sun is getting kind of close to setting. If I just maybe do a quick little item loop. There's the shark is just eating the raft. Um, ooh, I want that seagull, but I need to drop this guy first. Got him. Yeah, so let's do a quick little item loop. Uh, item harvesting loop, whatever you want to call it. And then... Hopefully by the time we're done, it should be night. And then I can sleep and then go back with like another full day. So let's just go like this, stash all this stuff. Thankfully we're pretty good on food now due to that head broth that we found. Uh, once we sleep, however, it's going to reduce our hunger again. So hopefully not by too much because I am getting a little light on food here. Um, but let's do this. I'm gonna need to water this as well. It looks like we have a good amount of eggs stashed up. Excuse me, goat. I would like this egg, please. Thank you. Oh, oh, we got another seagull there, and I uh, didn't notice, so he flew away. I uh, get our biofuel. That's going to make another one more biofuel with what I have in there before I have to refill it. Okay, doke. Go back up. Water this and that. Let's water ourselves, so to speak. Make sure we're all good. Fill that up. I think that's all the way filled. Oh, one more. Um, okay, and let me just get rid of the last couple things from the inventory. Drop all that off. Need to get rid of the stones and the bolts and the shears. So, uh, bolt goes in there, and stone goes in there, alrighty, um, and that looks good to me, so let's sleep, make sure we have a full day of sunlight. I think we're good. Looks like we didn't lose too much thirst or hunger doing that, so we'll do that. I could leave this bottle behind and save an inventory space, but... Um, Alright, yeah, I think we're good. Oh, the shovel. That's what it was. I, knew. I felt like I was forgetting something. So let's grab in here, I think we have... Yeah, a shovel. Get the one with a little more durability. Hopefully that's enough. Um, we want the dirt to be able to make more grass plots for the animals that we're going to catch here, so we want that. And then let's go back. And at this point, we should know where we're 
going. Of course, we already seem to have forgotten, but uh, we want to go up this way. Over to here. Uh, around. And back up there. Okay, and then was it up again and up again? Alright, cool. So over here is where the dirt was and the goat, which again, I know I'm going to want more goats long term for the milk for the food. I don't really need them yet because I don't even have a cooking station. Um, so I wonder if it's even worth grabbing this one. Looks like there was not a lot of dirt there, but it's better than nothing. Um, I'm going to wait. Again, I'm going to have to come back to this area eventually anyway, so if I don't find any other chickens or other animals, llamas, between here and there, then I will get the goat after. I just saw a chest down there, but I don't know how I would get back up. I saw a zip line heading to it, so I'm probably going to need to find the zip line first before I get that. Um, okay, yeah. Got to go all the way up to the top, like so. And then back down here to go back to this other area we were exploring. Looks like there's some extra stuff up here. Not sure how to get up there. Mm, ah, that'll probably work. There we go. And then we can go over to here. Not sure how I'm supposed to get into that one, but... We can go up here. Ah, okay, so there's our battery charger part. Which, we'll need to get a few of those to be able to make the battery charger. And then, I'm also looking for the zipline part so that I can make the zipline to actually be able to get around. Is that going to work? Ah, oh, that does work. Okay. Um, and then we'll keep picking up these items, which are, you know, filling up our inventory rather quickly, but it's all, for the most part, good stuff that we're going to want. Um, I guess, whoops. What are we doing here? Clear out the shovel, eat the coconut, and then let's go over this bridge to this other section. All kinds of other stuff over here, I'll bet. Eat that we can eat immediately, which again is kind of a waste actually because my food is already above the maximum. But I'm just trying to save inventory space, I should probably wait until I actually need to eat it. But oh, another chicken too. So um, we'll try to remember that he was here, and then when we go back to the raft, we'll we'll try to grab him. Um, is there any way to get up there? Any reason to get up there? Probably not. Guess not. Um, Alright, and then... What is all this over here? Okay, there's the staircase to get up and down. So let's start at the bottom and work our way up, more or less. A little secret back here. Ooh, a little secret ladder back here. I wonder what this goes to. Goes to... Ah, okay. This is... Whoa. All kinds of stuff in there. Inventory already filled back up. Um, let's eat the meat. Let's pick up the decoration package, and then we can learn that. Learned a table. That's a useful thing to be able to make, I guess, if we wanted to do any decorating at any point. Um, okay, so... This is like the water pump area. There's like a little puzzle I have to do here. Where I'm going to have to get... I don't even... Uh, you know what? I don't even remember exactly how this works, but... Um, can't I just... Yeah. So if I hold R, I can rotate these... Like so. I don't know why it's moving the camera when I go to do that. If there's a better angle, there we go. Um, and then I want to rotate them all so that the water actually goes all the way through these pipes. And then it'll fill up... I think it's a well down there. Which will then get me something, a zipline part or a battery charger part or something like that, something related to further progressing here. So, oh, this one's sideways. It's kind of creepy. Mm, nothing in here though. So, let's see. 
god, inventory is really, really full. Um, let's keep going through, grabbing items. Yep, inventory is full. A copper. I don't need a stone arrow. I'd rather have the copper, I suppose. I'm just gonna keep dropping items because the inventory is full. So I may want to just grab that chicken and return to the raft again. Um, I want to explore all of that, and then I need to go down here and explore all of that as well. And eventually get over there with the zip line. So why don't we just explore this little section, and then we'll probably head back to the raft. And then we'll come back and do, do the thing with the, um, oh, hello bees. Do the thing with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the pipes or whatever. Drop that nail is probably the least valuable single resource I have. Take the bees, which is the most valuable at the moment, so I can make more beehives for more biofuel. Um, we don't need that coconut, so that's fine. We can leave that behind. Let's check out whatever's going on in here. Oh, cooked potato. I can just leave that again. My hunger is already above the maximum, so don't need that. More raw resources. Finding the biofuel is really nice. Because, again, I need a ton of biofuel to be able to navigate around the world eventually, so... Definitely like finding that and not having to refine my own. So, watermelon's good for making biofuel, but I think everything else I have is a little more valuable at the moment. Uh, stone arrow we don't need. I think that's everything in here. Uh, there's a little area in the back. I'm not sure how to get there. Can I sneak around? I sure can. Anything worthwhile? Ooh, hinges and bolts. Awesome. That's like two metal worth of crafting materials, so that's that's huge. And then I guess we're going to climb up. Scrap. Stone. That's it. Over here we got stone planks. See, a lot of this stuff stacks, so I can like keep going as long as I'm getting the stackable stuff. It's just the unique items that are going to require me to have to go back to the raft, but um, go up here. I think we're almost at the top. Oh, is that, yeah, it's a metal. I really want that metal. Um, I guess vine goo. This, this recipe doesn't actually do anything. I, like, you don't need the recipe to, to make the recipe. It just tells you, like, what items you need to make it. Um, but I want one of each to, to, I'm gonna make a little, like, cooking station eventually, and put, uh, all the recipes up on, like, a wall behind the cooking station, so it's purely cosmetic. I only need one of each, and I do find them fairly frequently, and I don't know if I actually already have this one, so it may be a waste holding on to that, but just because they're a little more rare than, you know, some of these other resources, I'm gonna hold on to that. Um... Huh, looks like I can go up one more level. There's the ladder. So I'll go up. And some more items. And then over to this side. Ah, okay. So we got a big old crate up here. Let's see what's in it. Okay, double bolts. That's good. Double source of metal. Can I get in this one? No? Huh, it's too bad. Um, but I guess that was it. So I'm... Still looking for the zip line and battery charger parts. I thought there was going to be one up here. Does not seem like it. Um, I think I grab that chicken and go back to the raft and stash this stuff, though. It's probably going to be nighttime again soon as well, so we could sleep for another cycle. Um. Yeah, and then I'll come back and I'll do all this stuff down here, see what that gets me, and then come back up. Did I go up to this place yet? I did, because that's where the chicken was. So, yeah, so let's grab this chicken. Do not miss. Ooh, 
Okay, phew. Alright, we got him. Uh, this guy is Pex, I guess. It's a name for a chicken. Um, alright. So run back to the raft real quick. Drop the chicken off. Drop all this stuff off. Probably sleep so that we have full daylight again. And then we'll, uh, come back to that other area over there. Um... Hopefully there's some good stuff down there because I really need the zipline to get around. I'm surprised I haven't found all the parts for it yet. I know I sh could and should just quickly look up where they are so that I can go get them all, but... Um, I already went up here, right? Yeah, whoa. Don't fall to our death. Okay, head down this way. Back to the raft. <laughs> Gonna need to drink some water here. Hunger is still good. So let's drop off our chicken, uh, grab the eggs, water the crops, do a quick item loop since we're back. Uh, I will need to uh, make more grass and make a bigger pen for all these chickens that I have now. But for now, that'll be alright just in there until I have time to do that. So let's get a shear in. Definitely want to stockpile as much of this wool as possible to make more trash cubes so that we can trade for more titanium and other stuff. Need to get that honey. So drop a couple things out of my inventory. Grab the honey as well as the honey that fell. Uh, there should be another one somewhere. May have fallen through the raft. Uh, grab the biofuel quickly. And yeah, it looks like it's nighttime, so it looks like we got back just at the right time to empty out our inventory and then sleep and then have another full daytime cycle. Looks like I did not have this recipe yet, so that's cool. Um, the machete, I don't think I need for anything, but... Put it in there for now. Might as well... Eh. Let's see those flippers, I guess. I'll need a bigger chest to store all my items in. Eventually. Um, okay. The shears go back in. Looks like I found another hook somewhere, which I didn't even realize. So that's going to need to get stored somewhere. This is like my extra tool chest, but it's like out of space. Maybe I'll take the flippers with me, even though they take up an inventory slot. Because these ones are about to break. So I'll just use those first to break them and then save durability on the other ones. Um, I'll bring the shovel in case I run into more dirt. Uh, I don't have any more net canisters at the moment, so I can leave that here until I get more canisters. And... Okay, that looks good. So we're going to want to sleep. I'm, I'm going to quickly look up where all these parts are that I'm supposed to be getting, just to make sure I'm not missing anything, basically. So, give me one second here. Okay, so... So this is not telling me anything that I need to know. Uh, look at this other one. No. Um, let's see. So first thing is finding the battery charger parts, which are in the dock area in the port office. Okay. Okay, I got the second one already, according to this guy, according to the second one. Um, oh, no, I got the third one. The second one is 
It says, make your way up the path through the caravan so you reach a blue and white striped caravan with a ladder on its side. So I'll just need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, then the zipline tool. Yeah, I'll have to do the water pump thing. And I'll get the zipline tool part. Across the bridge and down, you'll notice a bicycle with a hose attached. Okay, then I need the flippers to go deeper. And I'll get the infirmary key, a blueprint for the metal detector, and a zipline part. And then back to the broken bridge, and there's a water tank with four propped up legs. Oh, okay, I need the explosive goo to set that off, and I'll get the explosive goo when I, um, when I go down into the underwater area is where there's going to be a lot of uh, puffer fish. So, okay, at least I have a rough idea of where I need to be looking for all this stuff. Um, I don't want to be here forever. I don't want these recordings to get too long, so I may have to um, split this into two sections potentially, but for now, let me just quickly restock on the, uh, the biofuel refiners here. Oops, there was a seagull that I would have loved to have gotten, but unfortunately did not see him until it was too late. Uh, let's get our extra honey, because we're getting a little low. And let's load these up here. Honey, honey. Oops, don't want to eat those. Uh, load this up like so. That'll be going. Honey's going to be going. Um... Put that away. Uh, wool's gonna be going, chickens will be laying eggs. Shark will be eating the raft, but what are we gonna do? Nothing at this point in time. Um, yeah, gotta water all this real quick so that it regrows. And then we should pretty much be good to go. We have a good stockpile of wool too, so that's gonna get us a lot of trash cubes. We just need to finish this place so that we can get the battery charger to actually recharge the batteries to run the recyclers. So make sure that's all filled. All right, so let's uh, let's sleep and then we'll head back with a full day of daylight. Okay, so let's go. I think we're good with what we're bringing with us. Let's try to go kind of quickly here. So we go up. No, we don't. We forgot again. It's twice in a row. Uh, actually, there's the... There's the... Um, whatchamacallit? The docks right over there. Which is where I'm heading. So I could have potentially just walked or swam over there. But I'm going to go up the kind of the long way. Um, just to make sure I didn't miss anything else along the way. So if we see a uh, blue and white striped caravan, then on the top of it is one of our parts. Um, I need an explosive goo to launch that thing there to get another part, but I'll need to go underwater first to get the explosive goo, to make the explosive powder to launch that thing. Um, so we'll do that after, for now. Up here, anything? Hmm. Some interesting kind of lore and story stuff, but nothing I can actually use. So we'll head back this way. Can go down there too, but I need I need the zipline tool to get to a lot of these areas. So I really want to find that as quickly as possible. We're looking for like a big red four-legged water tank type thing. Looking for a blue and white striped caravan. And I know we have to do this whole puzzle down here, so I'm gonna go do that that puzzle first. Oops, an arrow that I don't need. I'll drop that at some point. Keep looting all these items as we go. I do believe also, wasn't there... Did I go into this one already? I 
did, I believe. I'm intentionally leaving the drawers open so I can tell where I've been, where I haven't been. I think I've already been over to this side. Looks like it, yeah, because that's the sideways one. Okay. And I think, wasn't there a note right here that I forgot to pick up? Yeah. Okay. So let me grab that. Talking about their secret experiments, whatever that's about. Sanji says the water pump idea doesn't work because there isn't enough space in the well for all the water. Also, the neighbors complain about getting salt in their cups. They complain because they have no patience for science. I asked Pa why we can't fly to another planet without all this water. Pa just laughed. But Sanji showed me some pictures that gave me a great idea though. Good man, Sanji. Okay. Line all this up. That looks about right. And then down here. Whoops, that one's going to want to probably go, like, I suppose, like that. And this one will go... Oh, I can't rotate that one, so hopefully that's good. So it's as far as it can go anyway. Um, Alright, and then that should fill up this well, and then it raises whatever item is in there. So let's go check if we lined all that up right. Now I'll just grab the items on the way up. Honestly, a lot of this stuff is, like... Stuff that I could get just from sailing around with the with the catch nets, so it's probably actually less efficient to get these items this way. But um, there's some stuff that I can't get in the catch nets, especially like the metal and all that kind of stuff, the hinges and the the bolts. And that stuff is really valuable because in order to get one, I'd have to stop off at an island and and go uh, go farm metal. So I think it's definitely worth looting all this. And it does add up pretty quickly as well, if I keep moving along here, so... Looks like that's about it. I'll go check out all this stuff on the docks after. Let's head back up and check out the water pump. If we could get around here. There we go. Head up this way, back up here. Another note, we'll let roll. Dental scientific journal. Classify. Ma says I should write down what I think to make it stick, so I write. Caravan Town is a rock sticking out from the water. It has good land to raise pigs to eat. We can fish, grow vegetables. Uh, only downside are the hyenas, but they are usually friendly. We came here on a boat with half the rest of the time. They let us stay because Ma is smart and Pa is good at welding. They say I'm just another mouth to feed. But I'll show them. See, the problem is, the water is rising, right? What if we just take away the water? Alright, so hopefully that's good. I'm not sure if it's lined up right. I think it takes a few pumps anyway. Yeah, that looks like it's working. Is that far enough? Sure is. Alright, we got our zipline part. Awesome. So... Gonna need to find uh, two more zipline parts, but that's the first one, I believe, so that's good. And I think there's another one over here somewhere. Oh, it's battery charger parts, that's cool. So we have two battery charger parts, I think we need the third. And we have one zipline part, so we'll need to find two more. Um, let's see. What's in here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing. What is this? Submerged one seems like a good spot for hidden treasure, no? If by treasure I mean planks and scrap, then uh, yeah, I guess so. Otherwise, not so much, but... Uh, so there's kind of a reef down here. I'm just gonna take a peek for... Metal. I do need scrap as well, but uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time here. I can get scrap just about anywhere, but metal is much more limited in its availability, so I just wanted to take a peek and see if there's any metal down here. Also, looking for uh, puffer fish potentially for the explosive goo, for the explosive powder, so that I can maybe go and catch that goat. And also because I'm going to need it to launch that rocket and get the final zipline part or which battery part, whichever one it was. Uh, but I'm not seeing any metal there or any puffer fish, so I guess we'll just leave that alone. 
Let's go check out the rest of the dock. There's a free plank. Why don't we grab that? And I think our, yeah, our raft is right over there. Um, nice. Good wave lifting us right up to the height that we need to be. Um, check out whatever's in here. Not seeing much. Here we go. So port, port office. That's what we're looking for. Oops. And that looks like a blue and white striped thing. And if we go up top, uh, there's nothing. I thought, I thought it said this is where one of the parts was. Oh, is this the one that I... This must have been the one that was right here that I picked up. The battery charging... Battery charging part, so... Um, okay, I think that's it for down here. Um, now I'm gonna need to do these underwater sections. I've explored everything, I believe, over there. Over there, up there. Um... So let's go this way. That's that's where we came from initially. So there's this little section over here, which we have not been to. So let's check that out. There's this whole tower, which I remember there was a chest up there, but I needed the zip line to get up there and get back there. Um, just top of our hunger and thirst a little bit, just to make sure we're okay. There's a note here. I think I'm in trouble. Neto put together a diving suit using a bike and an old diving helmet. Neto put weights in it to go down, but he put in too much. Now if I leave, then no one will pump air to Neto using the bike. If I'm thrown in jail, this is proof I'm innocent. Neto scientific journal. Underwater caches. Sanjay ran off crying as soon as they dragged me out. Very unprofessional. There's lots of very underwater I couldn't get him to get out. Pa forbade me from doing any more experiments. It's just a little bit too said she would be okay. So it's okay. Okay, so that's that note. I don't know if you guys find them particularly interesting or anything. I tend not to, but uh, I'm just gonna let them roll in case anyone wants to hear them. It's like, you know, kind of random stuff about different characters. Kind of gives you some insight into what's been going on in these places, but... Um, okay, this is like a whole other area over there. I need the zip line to get to many of these places, so... Uh, we're, oh, this is uh, where we came from before. That's where the goat in the dirt... There's the goat. And the, uh, the dirt was, so... Kind of did a little loop. Let's check out... Whatever's going on over here in these little hanging caravans. That's not where we came. Oh, this is originally where we came from. There's the raft. So, okay. So we've already been through all this. Um, Alright, so it's just the underwater area then now. Which is this bike. Which does something. I guess I'm going to follow the pipe. Um, so here's where I want my, my flippers and my oxygen bottle to be on. Now, I guess the oxygen bottle doesn't take an equipment slot, but the flipper does take the spot of the boots. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna follow this. We can stay under a lot longer with the oxygen bottle. We move faster with the flippers. Uh, there's a puffer fish. That's, okay, I got one more shot, and then the bow breaks, I think. Oh, get one more shot, which I think is enough. Perfect. Gets rid of the puffer fish, and gets rid of our bow, so we can equip the new fresh one. And then these little uh, pockets, I think, these little pockets of air in here, yep, where I can replenish, which is nice. And then we're just gonna keep following the pipe. If I see any metal down here, I'm definitely gonna go out of, go out of my way for it. Um, another puffer fish, get him. Uh, but beyond the metal, I might grab some, like, scrap and stuff if it's, like, right in my face. But for the most part, I'm just going to keep swimming. But I do want to get the puffers for all of the explosive goo. I need the explosive power to even finish this island. Plus, more canisters is always good. So there's some metal. 
Um, we're gonna have to come back up too, so I'll check for more metal on the way up as well. Looks like it's getting to be nighttime, so it's gonna actually be really hard to see down here now, but uh, just in the nick of time, we get to this little pocket of air. And go back. Not sure how much farther we have to go. Just grab this scrap, because it's right here. I think I just saw a puffer out of the corner of my eye. I sure did. One and two and three. Good. Get rid of this stone arrow. Save an inventory spot. Alright, that one had two goo on it, which is awesome. That's what we hope for most of the time. They can either have one or two goo, I believe. So the more times that we get two goo, the better. Um, I really should have just went to the raft and emptied my inventory and slept, since I was, like, right there. But, uh... Oh, shoot. But I didn't, and now it's, like, pitch black down here, and I can't even see what the hell's going on. Oh, Lord, there's two puffer fish. I'm about to start drowning. Um, there's a little air pocket down there, but I don't want these puffers to chase me in there. So we get rid of them, and I gotta quickly get in here. If I die right now, that would suck. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, phew. Alright. Lost a lot more health there than I wanted to, but... Alright, we get the infirmary key, we get a zipline part. So, we need to find one more. Um, we get the blueprint for the metal detector. So the metal detector we can use to find uh, titanium and make stuff from titanium, eventually titanium tools and all that. So that's that's cool. We can get some other things as well. Um, so we still need one zipline part and one battery charger part. Um, and I want to... God, I wish I could see down here. It's a shame that it's nighttime because there's probably some good pockets of metal and other stuff that I want to get while I'm all the way down here. I don't want to swim all the way back down to find it, so um, definitely going to get the goo, get my arrows back, and then oh yeah, my flippers broke. They probably broke a while ago, to be honest, so I've been pretty inefficient with this, but um, I have food and water on me, so let me just make sure I have enough to last down here for a while. And then with these flippers, I'm able to move fairly quickly, so I'm going to swim, like, close to the walls to kind of illuminate them a little bit and just check for metal on the way back up. That's metal or copper? It's hard to tell at night. That is copper, which is what I thought based on the shape of it. It's just a little hard to tell. Um, I didn't really see a lot of copper on the uh, metal, excuse me, a lot of metal on the way down. But, um... Let's see if we can see any on the way up. What is that? That looks like metal. Alright, good. At least we got three metal. We need so much. I mean, we literally need hundred, hundreds of metal. Or over a hundred metal. Maybe not hundreds. I mean, long term for other building projects, we'll need hundreds. But uh, we need like a little over a hundred metal just to armor the raft. To make it safe from shark attacks. So, we want to get it any chance we get. That was a nice little crate there with bolts and hinges. Every time I can loot a bolt and a hinge, that frees up another metal to be used to armor the raft that I would otherwise have to use to make a bolt and a hinge and or a hinge to, um, to craft something else. So, um, I guess that's it. Grab the scrap because it's right here. Oops, there goes our hook, but we had another one, so that's good. Grab a little more scrap, because why not? It's not metal, but it still helps. Looks like we used about half of the durability on our oxygen bottle already. This little trip, but that's what it was for, so... Um, and I guess that's it. Again, I wish I had gone to the raft first and slept and had a full daylight cycle to see more down there, because I think there was probably some more good resources that I'm leaving behind, but uh, at this point we got what we needed. So we're going to go back to the raft, which actually is just right over here, so 
We'll swim over, we'll empty our inventory, we'll probably do a quick little item loop, uh, sleep to make it be daytime, and then I will go get the final part. That is not our raft. Our raft is over there. I thought that was the raft. It is not. Whoops. Okay, so here we are. Now what we can do is research the metal detector here. So we now know how to make it, so we don't need the blueprint anymore. So we can get rid of that. Let me do... do that real quick. Okay, um, so let's stash everything we need to stash. Just go through like so, like so. Lots of extra scrap. All this stuff. Um, okay, so I need to cook this explosive goo. I need one of them to be able to get that final, I think it's the zipline part, which I'll need to find the final um, Uh, battery charger part. And then I'll need a couple more for canisters so that I can get that goat on the way back. Um, let's do our shearing here. Getting a good stockpile of wool so that we can make lots of trash cubes when we go to leave after we recharge our batteries so that we can run those recyclers get the trash cubes hopefully come up to some more trading post islands and get more of the good stuff from trading there did it rain recently? how is this watered already? okay not complaining that works out and I'll probably want to get the I'll pick up the biofuel I don't need to refill it just yet because there's enough in there to make another one. Uh, what, was there no planks in here? So this whole time this wasn't cooking, I guess. So let's load that up on planks. That's fine. Um, I guess I'll have to cook these drumsticks. I'm getting pretty low on food, actually. I may need to literally just stop and do like some manual fishing at some point just to load up on, on fish. Uh, in the meantime, I can eat these. Looks like the sun's coming up, so we won't actually have to sleep. If we go soon here, we'll, we'll have a full full daylight cycle to do what we need to do. Honey can go in there. Um, leftovers, I think I can just eat. Yeah, they don't restore much, but hey, it's something. And I think we're good. We'll keep the catch net with us. We'll keep the shovel with us just in case. Swap out the flippers until we have to go back underwater. Why are these not... There we go. Um, I'll keep the oxygen bottle equipped. I don't think I lose durability if I don't, if I'm not underwater, so that's fine. Um, I need one just like raw explosive powder for the rocket to get that last item. Uh, but I'm gonna want to turn one into a canister. Oh, and apparently I already had two explosive powder there, huh? So I guess I've been good this whole time. I forgot when I did that. Didn't I, didn't I cook that right at the beginning and then left it in there? Anyway, um, let's see, stone and rope. So let's do rope, stones in there. One, two extra canisters. So we can certainly get the goat. And then if we see any other animals, get a llama or a chicken, then we'll want to get them. It is raining, so that's watering the grass for me. Uh, we'll bring the net launcher with us. We need to bring one explosive powder with us to do the rocket. And we can leave the other one behind. And then let's just top up on food and hunger. And then we'll go back here. So do that. Do this. Drink. Salt water. Boom. All right. So... Oh, I wonder what's in there. Should I just take a peek over here real quick? Oh. 
There's another puffer, so might as well do that. Because we're always going to need more explosive powder if we want to get more animals later. So that's good. Get that. There's also a little... Whoa, shark, shark, shark. There's also a little reef under the raft, so I may just kind of explore in there at some point, too. Where did the shark go? I don't know where the shark went. Hoping I can... Oh, he's, he's on me, so let me get out of the water. And I think he should leave, because I'm pretty far away from the raft. If I'm not in the water to keep him over here, I think he'll just leave. Um, actually, I think this might be where that rocket lands after I fire it. So, regardless, I'm just going to quickly see what's in these. And then if I do have to come back here, at least I won't have to explore any of these caravans. Let's see, is there a way in there? That was strange. <laughs> Jump and then go back sideways. That was a little weird. Um, okay, hopefully the shark left. Can I go into this one or this one? Oh, there's a big old crate in there. Doesn't look, doesn't look like I can get all the way in. No, it won't let me for some reason. But we got the crate, which had some metal and stuff in it, which is cool. What about this one? Oh, I can get in this way. Get some items. Another bolt. That's awesome. This one, it looks like I won't let me in at all. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, so get back up somehow. Just scale the wall, I guess. And then there's got to be some little secret way up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that after I shoot the rocket... Yeah, it's over there. After I shoot it, I think it lands here, so I have to come back here anyway to... Oh, to loot the rocket, but we looted all the buildings, so we don't have to do that when we come back. Uh, so let's head up to where that rocket was. Oh, is that a puffer right there? It sure is. Yeah, there's a lot of them here on this island, so that's pretty good. Stock up on the explosive goo. Boom, boom, boom. Three shots, and he's done. We will loot him. And there's another one down there. I'm just going to go get him. I still have the oxygen bottle equipped. I don't have the flipper, but with the oxygen bottle, I should be able to last long enough to get this guy. And I'm also taking a peek. Now that the sun is out, you can see how much easier it is to see down here. Uh, to see if there was any metal, potentially, that I missed. So, more explosive goo. That's awesome. Seeing if I can see any metal. Oh, looks like there's some right there. So let's uh, let's come up come up for air. Let's put the flippers on to increase our swim speed. Let's get uh, wow, it's a long way down. Let's get full oxygen here. Uh, when I get all the way down there, I hope my bottle doesn't break because then I might drown before I can get back to the top. But uh, let's go down. I kind of did that in a weird way to where I there it is where I misoriented myself, but. I saw these these two metal nodes here. I got double paddles. I'm gonna just drop those. I don't need them, and they're pretty cheap to make if I ever need more. I have one already in the raft. That's just two inventory spaces that I don't need uh, occupied at the moment. So, um, you know, I don't want to go all the way back down again and burn through all the durability on the bottle and the flippers, but. I just want to take a peek. You know, I see three more metal here, so I'd say that's worth it. So we always need metal. And we'll head back up. Uh, hopefully not drown. Oh boy. It's a long way up. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Alright, we'll be okay. Just barely, but... Alright, cool. Um, and now let's go to where that rocket was and launch it. Oh, there's a little hidden crate there. I should have to remember to grab that on the way back. So let's go... I think it was up this way. I do believe... Okay, up again. 
yeah, this is where, that's the raft is right over there. Right down there. So we come up, whoops, come up this way, go right over here. I could grab that goat too and just quickly go back to the raft. You know what, I think that's what I'm going to do because then I'll just swim over to where I need to go after. So let's do this. There it goes. And yeah, it does land right over there, so... Look at that guy coming down. Okay, so that should be what we need. I think that's the final zip line part, so um, let me get this goat. Please don't miss. I don't want to burn a whole canister. Okay, I think we got him. Good. Let's pick him up. Whoops. Accidentally dropped him again. Hello. Come on back. Come here. There we go. Um, name... Diablo. There we go. It's gonna be a badass. Um, I see a crate over there that I missed somehow. So let's grab that real quick. And we're just gonna stop... Ooh boy. Long jump. There we go. I'm uh, just going to stop back off on the raft. Wait, how the heck am I supposed to get up there? Hmm. Oh, I need the zip line. That's how I'm supposed to get up there, so... Alright. We will get the zip line made shortly. I believe the final zip line part was there. So let's just drop off this goat real quick, and then why don't we go grab the, the zip line part. So I'll drop him off. I think that's the final zipline part was right up there. Uh, ooh, another puffer. I think they respawn or something, because didn't I, didn't I already fight one here? I think the shark could potentially be coming at us too. Looks like he's not, thankfully, but... Um, get that puffer. Get an extra explosive goo, which is cool. Um, try to scale this. Try and fail. There we go. Come on. Up we go. Alright, so there we go. We get the Major Tom, which is just a little cosmetic doll I can place on the raft. Uh, we get a blueprint for fireworks, which are just, again, kind of a cosmetic cool thing. Shoot some fireworks. Woohoo. And our final zipline part. So, there we go. Now we can go and make the actual zipline tool, I believe. And be able to get around to all these other areas. So that's awesome. Uh, and there was also a... Yep, little hidden chest back here. Looks like a food chest, yeah. So... Nothing I really need to hold on to. I'm just going to drink this now. Oh, wow. That gave me a lot of extra thirst, so that's cool. Um, and then we'll just head back to the raft again. Clear out our inventory and such. Kind of wasting durability on the, the bottle and the flippers. By doing it like this. And there's the shark. I just wanted to quickly check the reef and see if there was any, like, metal. Oh, there's a puffer. I want to get him. Oh, he blew up. Bummer. So I lost that one, but I've gotten lots of others, so that's all right. Uh, let's get up here. Let's empty our inventory. Just going to stash everything. I've been loading up. Again, lots of cool and interesting stuff from this. So uh, Explosive goo can go in there. I'll cook, the, cook that later. Let's keep the powder in there. I still have another canister if I were to run into another animal at some point. Get rid of all of that, all of that. Um, okay, so let's learn the firework, which I think you just shoot it in the air and it, you know, I mean, it's a firework. It doesn't do anything. It just looks cool. And I think you can use dye to make different color of fireworks too. So just kind of a cosmetic item there. Nothing too useful, but wow, look at all these eggs from all the extra chickens we gathered here. So let's pick those up. 
And set that down. Gonna need to water all this grass. At some point I'll get like an automatic water sprinkler and like a water intake system. Which is gonna make this a lot nicer to deal with instead of having to manually do this every time, but... For now, we will be nice and water their grass so that they don't starve to death and that they make us wool, which we need. Uh, we'll go ahead and shear them real quick. Looks like the cycle is off somehow. Only a couple of them regrew their wool. Three of them. Two of them didn't. But anyway, once all that grass grows and they eat it, they should be back on the same growth cycle. So um, drop that off. Let's grab the honey. Looks like it's about to be nighttime. So... We'll want to sleep and then go back up with a full day. Um, getting low on seeds. It seems like every time we do that, we lose about half of our seeds. The mango seeds need to go into... They make mango trees, so they need to go into like a tree plot, not like a little crop plot, so... Can't plant those. No seagulls up here. Still waiting on llama wool to grow, but I watered everything. Uh, let's refill biofuel. Honey, honey. And then watermelons. And then I'm, I'm like getting low on fruit, I think. So I will need to stop off at some island eventually and, and get, more, get more fruit and get more seeds. So that I can keep planting more. But we do have enough to fill it up at least for now, so that's another two biofuel. That can go away. I did pick it up, right? No, I did not. So, let's pick that up. We have a pretty good stockpile going here. Oh uh, yeah, this guy's just like a little cosmetic dude who just kind of sits there. Um, I'm just going to put him somewhere out of the way, I think. I guess, can, he, can he fit there, maybe? No? I just want to tuck him somewhere, rather, rather than have him take up like an inventory slot. Um, in a chest, I'll just I'll put him there. There we go can hang out there and then what else do I need to do keep the flippers with me keep the rest of this stuff with me depending on what we run into wow I already have a full stack of the poison heads so I don't know where to put this other one I should just get rid of this paint I've been saving it in case I like ever want to paint anything else but that's gonna be like real late game cosmetic type stuff. So by the time I get to that point, I should have more than enough resources to make more paint. So um, that should be good. No seagulls, unfortunately, because we are getting a little low on food. We're actually getting real low on food. So I might need, I might need to fish here for a bit, but should be okay for now. Um, and then I think what I'm actually gonna do is, God, the shark has just been eating my raft this whole time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here for this recording, so um, I don't want the recording to go too long, and then, you know, as I was saying in the intro, I think this recording's been good, whatever, you know, knock on wood, but whatever, like, encoding overload issue I was having in the last recording that was making the footage unwatchable, I don't think happened. I think we got a nice, good recording here. I don't want to test, push my luck, um, you know, everything seems to be fine with the settings of tweaked and whatnot so let's just let's just end it here get a good good solid recording in let's get this seagull though um and then yeah we got a little bit more to do on this island i don't know how much more but i don't want this to turn into like a super long recording anyway so i think this seems like a good spot to leave it um and then next time we'll pick it up here we'll finish exploring the rest of the island as we cook these drumsticks and yeah, and then depending on how long it takes us to finish the rest of the island, we'll also, you know, check out all the stuff that we unlocked and craft, you know, the battery recharger and all that stuff. We need to keep filling out the raft. We need to sail around and find more trading post islands. Um, we got all kinds of other stuff that we need to do. So I think I hear a shark attack, but he's just going to get whatever tile it is again. Uh, I'm just going to quickly shear these guys if they would... Stop moving. There we go. I see an egg. Yeah, definitely gonna have to build out these animal pens next time as well. Based on how much time we have, but, uh, yeah, okay. So, I know I'm kind of rambling here, but, uh, that's gonna be it for now. We'll pick it up here next time with, like, the second half of Caravan Island. So, hope to see you there. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and, uh, have a good one. Peace.